7.4 transformations. What is a reflection? A reflection makes makes a mirror image of an of a point of or a figure. A ref, reflection of x axis makes a x negative and and just flip it so it will be y y and negative x. Reflection of y y axis of x x will be negative and then we have to we have to flip that so it will be a uh, negative negative y and x these are some examples first oh uh, the point the point t shows that it's on uh, it's on two uh, oh and it will reflect reflect it is reflection of y axis it it uh, the answer would be t or uh, t t is equals or uh, negative negative two and two because uh, because uh, point point two will reflect reflect on y axis so it will be negative two and two uh, example two the point the point l l is on four four and five and it's on x uh, re it shows the reflection of x axis so the answer would be for uh, uh, l l equals four four negative five pause the video and and try this Try these examples. See if you get the right answer. Oh, the answer. The answer. Reflection of reflection of x axis is uh, the point point h shows that it's on one one and four. Uh, the the answer would be one one negative four because because it's on uh, it's the reflection of x axis and the the four will be negative four. The answer. Uh, second the reflection reflection of y axis uh, w, point w shows that it's on the 3 3 3 and 3 the the answer of this will be on uh, neg negative 3 3 because because uh, because it's on uh, x axis and it shows that uh, it will reflect and it will be negative rotation it's the clockwise and counterclockwise turn about a fixed point in the coordinates there are two types of rotation, the 90 degrees clockwise and the 90 degrees counterclockwise. You would have to change the sign for the 90 degrees clockwise. You have you would have to change the sign of the x coordinates and flip the coordinates. For the 90 degrees counterclockwise, you would have to change the sign of the y coordinate and flip the coordinates. Let's start with 90 degrees counterclockwise. You would have 3, 3 as your point, then it would be changed into 3, negative 3, and flip those two in order to be negative 3, 3. Then you would graph the point. For 90 degrees clockwise, you would have 4 and 2 as your point. Then you would have to change it to negative 4 and 2, and flip those two coordinates around, and you would get 2 and negative 4, then you would graph the new point. Try these examples. Pause the video and see if you could get the right answer. Here are the answers. For number one, you first you will change the x coordinate to negative four and three. Then you would flip the coordinates around, and the final point would be three negative four. And then you would just have to graph those to the graph. For number two, first you will change the y coordinate. To negative 4 so you would flip 2 and negative 4 and it will become negative 4 and 2 and you'll then have to graph this translation is a transformation that slides every point in a figure that's some distance in the same direction vertical translation is when you move up and down add units to the y coordinate so you have a point of x and y it will be x and y plus b for horizontal translation, you move left and right. Add units to the x coordinate so you would have a point of x and y, and it will be x plus a and y. Now, an example for vertical translation you have a point b, 2, 4, and you would subtract 3 from here. After you subtract, you get 2, 1. The coordinate of b equals 2, 4. That would change into b, 2, 4, minus 3, and that would equal b, 2, 1. 
Now an example for horizontal translation. You would start with point D, 3, 5. Then you would add 2 from here to 3. Then you would get 5 and 5. D, 3, 5 changes into D, 2 plus 3 and 5. And that would equal D, 5 and 5. Try these examples. Pause the video so you can attempt these problems. Okay, so first one. You have a coordinate of C, 3 and 3. Then you add 2 to 3 and you get 3 and 5. Then you have to graph it. For horizontal, you have a coordinate of A, 3 and 5. Then you would subtract 2 to 3 and get 1 and 5. 